good morning dear students today we are going to discuss very important chapter that is measurement of scale what is measurement why measurement of scales is important uh, what are the major tools of the measurement and what are the major tools of the scaling we will discuss in detail in this particular chapter when we have decided our uh, objective of our research then we'll go for the formulation of uh, questionnaire and in questionnaire there are a number of types of the questions we are asking like uh, first type of the question like profile of the um, respondent that may be questions will be based on your uh, simple questions based on your quantitative type of questions maybe qualitative type of questions then the such type of the questions uh, will be based on the scales and it is very much important to know about how it will be measures measurement what will be measurement like suppose it is very easy to tell about how um, what frequencies uh, you are going to by what frequencies you are going to malls uh, in a month and how many times you are going to purchase uh, shoes or your uh, uh, aprils number of um, uh, options you have how many times you are going to uh, go, go for the uh, purchasing and shopping it is very much easy you can tell uh, basically uh, numbers but when you are going to uh, ask question to your respondent why you are liking uh, coca cola why not pepsi then it is very difficult for the res uh, respondent and it is very dis difficult to uh, tell uh, about psychological aspects of the questions so then uh, we'll go to discuss what are the major uh, problems and what how they can be how that uh, problems can be uh, solved in the uh, research uh, process what uh, number of um, learned persons of the uh, research area they have given a lot of uh, lot of knowledge to uh, you know you know the knowledge to our uh, researchers so then we'll discuss in this chapter this is very interesting and you will get a lot of very good knowledge and then we'll start go start this chapter so let's uh, start the measurement means assigning numbers or other symbols to characters of the objects according to certain prescribed rules measurement means assigning numbers or other symbols to characters of objects according to certain prescribed rules this is the uh, major clear it should be clear we will decide first any symbol Assigning number or symbol, like uh, if you are going to uh, give a number to our respondent, a res number to our mainly um, number of respondent, like if they are male, then we'll decide one number one. If they are female, we'll decide number two. This is the symbolic one. There is no any purpose of this uh, one and two. It can be A and B also. Then we'll decide. Like, like Messi has play playing football. What their jersey number? Ronaldo's what jersey number? Sachin Tendulkar was playing with some jersey number of their uh, uh, Indian cricket team. So then, um, Kohli is playing, and other player players are playing. They have allotted numbers. Number is only symbolic. No any other meaning of that. But other characters will be involved for that so then we'll discuss what are the uh, certain prescribed rules in research measurement of the variables is necessary is necessary requirement variables we should know about what are the variables on which particular variables we are going to study and what type of the variables they, that they are so then we'll use such type of the scales then dilemma in social science problem 
define what is to be measured and how it is to be accurately and reliably measured. Second point, third and last point, some things or concept which are inherently abstract in the nature. Example, jobs, satisfaction, employees morale, brand loyalty of the consumers are more difficult to measure than the concept which can be assigned numerical values. Example, sales volume for employees XYZ, XYZ it is, uh, what is the main concept of this uh, purpose of the measurement? Well, purpose of the measurement is to know about the what is your problem and what type of the uh, if you will know about the problem then how uh, will go to solve the problem by measurement of the measurement of the data data which will collect that measurement will be true on the basis of that data when we'll discuss about the collection of the data regarding our uh, objectives or problems that data will be based on mainly uh, what inference we will go to make. It is very much important that uh, researchers should know about if we are asking questions from our respondent, then we should be very much uh, clear about what uh, thing, what particular uh, uh, particular of uh, things they are going to uh, get output and that measurement should be accurately and reliable. Some concepts like uh, your uh, numer numeric based concepts will be very easy to get like volume of sales or frequencies of uh, purchasing or shopping but it is very difficult to know about the job satisfaction factors, employees morale, brand loyalty of the consumers. These things are very much difficult. Why person purchase a particular product? Why people like Coca-Cola? Why not Pepsi-Cola? These are the number of uh, questions which, which is very much difficult to get uh, measure then there are a lot of measurement tools and scales has been developed and on the basis of that particular tools and scales we will discuss about in detail the measurement we have discussed now we are going to discuss about the scale a scale is basically a continuous spectrum or series of categories and has been defined as any series of items that are arranged progressively according to the values magnitude into which an item can be placed according to its qualification four popular scales in the researches are that is first one is more, uh, nominal second one is ordinal third one is interval and fourth one is ratio so these all four uh, scales will discuss in detail Nominal scales are basically a symbolic part. As we have discussed in the last slide, uh, it is uh, only symbolic for the a particular character. Character may be male, female. Character may be any person's name. It is only for the symbol, symbol, symbolic part. There is no any other meaning. Like here, religious affiliation, Catholic one, Protestant 2, Jewish 3, Muslims 4 and others 5. These are the way we can define or we can define our uh, particular characters by numbers, our particular religion by numbers. Normal scale, nominal scale, what is nominal scale? Nominal scale is simplest of the four scales and in which numbers are later assigned to objects serve as a label or identify or identification of or qualification the classification examples male one female two sales zone one daily zone daily sales zones two mumbai three maybe 
what what uh, drink a coke drink b seven up drink c pepsi these are the only symbolic we have uh, for the identification of any particular product we use such type of the symbols so this is only symbolic there is no any particular purpose of this uh, nominal scale what is all the symptoms of uh, depression from a psychiatric assessment none zero mild one moderate two severe three so there is no any particular uh, purpose of this this is only symbolic these are the number of examples we we'll discuss in detail also what is ordinal scale ordinal scale means as per the meaning of this uh, topic order order means we are giving uh, arranging the uh, arranging by orders that is called ordinal an ordinary scale is one that arrange objects or alternatives according to their magnitude example ranking of the players in cricket rank 1 rank 2 rank 3 man means like sachin tendulkar made uh, 4 or 400 centuries So then he will be number one rank. Right? Like Kohli had made three five three hundred fifty centuries. Number two, like that, will symbolically we have uh, decided the rank, rank this. Messi has uh, gold about five uh, five gold in in a uh, season. Ronaldo has made. Eight goals in season, rank one, rank two, rank three, rank that. We manage these things. It will be rank of the players in cricket, rank one, rank two, rank three. Investment climate, bad, inadequate, fair, good, very good. Just about the questions we can ask. Merit, A grade, B grade, C grade, D grade. Such type of the questions we can ask in the uh, order or ordinal scale. interval scale what are the interval scale interval scale means we will consider about the intervals we will go to next slide and then understand the in details about that uh, interval scale is also next scale and then we will go to ratio scale ratio scale is based on the money weight and distances and now we are coming to uh, this is more specifically you will understand scale Scale means nominal scale. Number assigned to the runners. Number seven, number eight, number three. There is no any other meaning. It is only symbolic. Jersey number. Ordinal rank order of, of winners. Third place, second place, first place. Who has made supports? Who has mm, winner gold gold medal winner? Who is silver medal winner? Which um, uh, uh, then it is bronze medal and third place. Then it will be uh, on the third place. So now you know in third uh, uh, concept is interval. Interval eight point two performing rating on zero to ten scale eight point two nine point one nine point six. These are the interval based and ratio timing to finish in seconds. Then fifteen point two. Fourteen point one and thirteen point four. These are the main uh, scales. Um, you should understand these things. I'm going to clear more specifically to you. And these are the number of other. What is measurement? What type of the measurement process it is? Technically, you should understand by this slide. Questions we are asking in your questionnaire. Question will be based on open-ended or closed-ended. open ended questions may be quantitative and quantitative closed ended questions may be mcq multiple choice questions and binary binary means it is formatted in uh, male female high income low income the and like that in open ended questions we can ask uh, quantitative based numeric like age income frequencies etc and qualitative research is will be based on non numeric 
behavioral and psychological aspects. MCQ questions will be A, B, C, D choice, options will be there and binary question male, uh, female, high income and low income. Such type of the questions we are asking from our uh, respondent in to respond to when we are uh, concerned with the survey of the uh, our research. What are the basic uh, concept behind these scale? Like nominal scale, example male and female. Suppose a person uh, is given male as a, female as b. This is symbolic. This uh, he has filled this form for the male and female for the uh, b. Then he will compile their uh, for this thing. Uh, compile their data on the basis of A and B. So we are other examples may be adult, young, marital status like married and married. Here A and um, um, male and female will be nominal scale that we are using every time in our uh, questionnaire. Ordinal, ordinal will be uh, the basis of the uh, suppose qualification example may be qualification UG, PG and PhD for UG we will use word A, PG we will use word B and PhD we will use word C. If you are asking nominal uh, nominal uh, scaling male and female there is no any difference between male and female. Because people ask about the who is bigger than and who is more um, more uh, differences in between the male and female. There will be no any difference because A is male and B is female. There is no any other meaning. But when we ask about the UG, PG and PhD, any, then we will know about the, what are the, there is some differences. A person who is PG is uh, more knowledgeable than uh, more more degree is more degree comparatively UG degree in a person and person who have PhD degree who he is more qualified than PG and UG candidate then there is differences so that differences will be called as scale of in interval scale intervals tells only differences. If we will discuss about the interval, in interval will how much differences are there. It is very much clear, you should be very much clear about what is the technical part of this type of the scaling. When we are asking intervals, interval scaling, when we are going for the uh, concentrate on interval scaling, then we will be based on Suppose we are asking about the temperature of any particular uh, uh, place, any particular uh, person. So maybe uh, this is 20 degree centigrade, 21 degree centigrade, and 22 degree centigrade. But then uh, there is uh, clearly, uh, this is this data is clearly showing there is one degree centigrade differences in all three measurements. So there we, we can know about the how much differences. Here one other important example. Suppose this is the uh, interval is given 0 to 10. It, it will be a age based. 11 to 20 will be B. And 21 to 30 will be C. Then if you will ask which one is elder and which one is uh, smaller. So then which one is, it is very difficult to know uh, that who is older. Suppose we will ask from A, age, A, age of age of A we, we are not able to know about, age of B we are not able to know about, age of C we are not able to know about, it will be from 0 to 10, it is bigger than B and B is bigger than C, but we are not knowing how much they are. We will ask from um, 
if you ask a person to his age is um, 8 years age a, a will be 8 years b will be 15 years c will be 19 years there we can know about the how much differences but when we are going to in scaling format then we are not able to know who is bigger then this type of the uh, uh, data will be in interval scale this will not in ordinal scale will ordinal scale will only tells differences that will not able to tell how much differences interval scale will tell you how much differences and ratio ratio is uh, between 0 to uh, how much you can know about so this is money weight and distance based so these are the four type of this scaling you must be clear about that and what are the met metric non-metric <coughs> continuous normalization and charts we'll discuss in detail about this in normal uh, scaling mcq and binary type three questions we can ask metric non-metric will be uh, uh, nominal and ordinal will be non-metric because we are not able to measure we are not able to measure in uh, because there is a uh, uh, num numeric we are not getting numeric numbers we are not getting then we are not able to measure it and if you are concerned with the uh, here in uh, interval and ratio these are the mist metric uh, charts if you are concerned there will be bar charm bar diagram we will discuss in detail why it will be bar and why it will be histogram continuity here it is discrete nominal and ordinal and your interval and ratio will be continuous normality no normality nominal and ordinal interval and ratio it will be maybe possible normality what are these particular topics like metric and non-metric charts continuity and normality we'll discuss next slide in detail okay. Metric, non-metric, continuous normalization and charts. What is the meaning of metric? Why it is metric? And discrete data and continuous data. When we are asking uh, questions from any respondent about the name, about the uh, gender, <coughs> then they will tell about the male and female. And if you will go for the make the chart, uh, then it will be based on your bar diagram because uh, a bar diagram is only possibility, and we can get uh, use this type of the data for the uh, percentage and chi square test. There is no any other test we can manage in this particular type of the data. Like nominal scales, and ordinary scales, we can use some. T test also will discuss in detail how we can use it. But now we should be concentrate on this particular topic. Uh, metric, why it is metric and what is not metric. So then because there is no then we ask this data that this is why it is discrete. Discrete means we are not able to continuous in uh, our data as in this particular uh, type of the data and like uh, ratio and interval. You can see it is histogram. Histogram means when you are asking questions from the respondent, so that will be based on continuous basis. That will be based on continuous basis. Suppose we are asking question from a respondent about the uh, TV, TV channels. TV, why you are looking this particular channel? So then a person is looking uh, the, uh, particular channel based on number of factors like he uh, he is very uh, he knows that serials are coming very good their timing is suitable there are very interesting uh, serials are coming so a lot of things uh, may be possible 
uh, there there will be uh, a series of the questions and that will be based on same type of the questions like on Likert scale we are asking questions in based on uh, same type of the but suppose we are asking about the TV then it will be continuous questions will be based on suppose we are asking the satisfaction of the employee any particular employee uh, so then it will be satisfactional factors will be there on the basis of their motivation on the basis of their continuous remuneration on the basis of so that will be based on your continuous uh, responses that will be based on the continuous response then it will be here whatever the uh, data will come that will be made continuous across it that will be like here we have seen the histogram type of the data here it will be discrete type of the data we get because male and female then we are not able to get some other data then it is not possible to draw a uh, chart uh, like histogram it will be discrete type of the data non-metric because we are not able to get some uh, how much differences are there in here we can know the differences here we are not able to know about the differences so then we are not able to measure it in uh, detailed forms maximum analysis will be based on ratio and inter interval data it is non-continuous we are looking this um, uh, chart then graph it is a histogram and it is a bar diagram so then it is not continuous not normalized normalized means you are going to uh, normalize the data we'll discuss in next slide why it is normal what it is important to normalize we'll discuss in next slide uh, in this particular uh, discrete type of the data uh, nominal and ordinal type of the scale will become and ratio and interval will become uh, continuous type of the data we we'll discuss about the bar diagram and uh, histogram diagrams next slide we'll discuss about why uh, Kurtosis, why normalization is important. Kurtosis means uh, how much peak of the how much peak of this uh, data, how much peak of this particular like here we will see this is the peak peak form of the uh, it is based on your positiveness of your responses positiveness of responses of respondent when we are asking uh, questions that questions will be based on based on same type of the questions same type of the uh, object so related to the same type of the object like we are asking questions about tv then it will be based on tv channels based on tv only it should not be go for the washing machine then it, when and also uh, the Likert scale will be supposed it is based on 1 2 3 4 5 so then positivity of this scale will be suppose positive uh, one one suppose uh, uh, the positive power form of the data will be one, five, 4 5 uh, 3, 4, 5 is most, most post, uh, positive and 1, 2, 3 is uh, lowest, 3, 2, 1 is lowest. So then suppose positivity is uh, maximum, then uh, we will get the peak of the data, peak of the normalization and if the, this peak will be more than more and data will be based on, the, then it is also uh, a researcher should be advised to get the normal side normalization of the and data should be better for the research what are the uh, if the peak, the peak is called as the lipocritic and normal this is the normal every researcher want to normalization of the uh, data and lipocritic uh, is, is, is less than the peak is lowest then it will be uh, plutocratic plutocratic so then this type of the data will be uh, graph will be possible when we collect data 
and the researchers would be very much careful about the how you that uh, researcher can make their researches and data uh, arrange in this particular manner and slip to get it to normal situation then it results will be completely better now next uh, slide is based on uh, summarize of the summarization of this topic whole topic primary scale of measurement nominal uh, scaling uh, nominal scale numbers identify a uh, classify objects common examples social security number numbering of football players marketing examples brand numbers store types then percentage mode uh, permissible statistics descriptive percentage mode and what other tools we can use chi square test binomial by binomial test is two type of the test we can manage in this particular type of the scale ordinal type of the scale what is basic characteristics numbers identity uh, number indicate the relative po uh, positions of the objects but not the magnitude of the difference between them quality ranking ranking of the items in the tournament preference preference ranking market position social class these are the marketing examples percentile median and what type of other uh, statistical tools can be used it the rank order correlation and friedman and so on then next one is interval difference between the objects okay. here we can get the differences in ordinal we are not able to get differences what type of the tools we can use here this is anoa and friedman anoa f test and rank order correlation percentile percentile median this type of the data we can get in ordinal interval difference between we can get the difference between the objects temperature fahrenheit example common example temperature in fahrenheit attitude opinion index this the uh, marketing examples range means and standard these are the descriptive form and what are the uh, product moment type of the uh, statistical tools we can use all the tools we can use at here uh, depend on the which type of the inferences and which type of the uh, uh, research is person want to get the output so that that type of the out, that part type of the output a researcher can get the knowledge about by this type of the interval data ratio 0 point is fixed ratio of the scale values can be compared length width age sales income cost geometric means harmonic means coefficient of variations these things we can find out by this type of the scales this is all about this particular topic mainly i'm now going to summarize this topic mainly you should understand what is major concept for this particular uh, chapter chap major when we have decided the objective of our study then we'll go for the formulation of the questionnaire and questionnaire will be based on which type of the questions which in previous slide we have discussed about that that will be based on your open ended and closed ended type of two type of the questions one is open ended and other is uh, closed ended open ended questions when we ask then there will be based on qualitative and quantitative okay so then qualitative and quantitative type of the questions will ask and in quantitative type of the questions uh, we, we will ask about the quantity 
like uh, we have discussed about that in that previous slide like male and female how many uh, then uh, about that uh, number of options are qualitative type of questions like we have told you uh, it will be based on your mcq and binary type of the questions and there, there, there are a lot of options are there so then uh, qualitative type of the questions and numeric and non-numeric type of the questions that will be based on then it will be how we will design the questionnaire and what type of the outputs you want to get it is based on what are the data they, they want to get it is all based on what inference means what a, a respondent want to get output what inference they are getting by the data and what data they are getting and based on that particular data what type of the results results they want to get for that purpose they design the data and that data will be based on your nominal ordinal ratio and lastly interval, interval and ratio scales nominal scale nominal scale will be based on your symbolic form of any character Ordinal scale will be based on orders. Interval scale will be based on your intervals of the responses. And ratio scale will be based on your from 0 to uh, what ratio are. So then we'll, these four type of the In interval scale and ordinal scale, there is differences. What are, what major difference in, in, in interval scale and or in ordinal scale? we can get only a difference but how much difference we'll get from inter interval scale and by these type of the information and other other things you, you can get by the slide uh, this particular topic i have uh, details you have told about and next topic uh, next class we'll discuss about the uh, what type of the scalings and uh, we will be in uh, classification of the skills and measurement and uh, how it is uh, how we can test the reliability and validity of the skills and data that will be based on your next topic so then we will discuss in next lecture thank you very much